Hi guys, Katie from Kestrel Ballistics here. I'm here to talk to you about the new firmware 1.48. We packed a ton of features into 1.48 and I'm sure you're all gonna love them. I'm here to explain a little more in depth on some of the key features that you will find in 1.48 when you load it onto your Kestrel. Two major changes that we did with firmware 1.48 is changing the custom drag model and how you see them in your, in your gun profile. Previously, when you went into your gun, you would just see custom under your drag model name and you would see the BC of one. If you scrolled off of your custom curve, you would lose your custom curve. Now we fixed both of those things. This drag model is a Hornady drag model and if I press the center button, I can get more details to know exactly which gun I'm shooting. When I back back out of there, if I transfer over to a G1 or a G7, it's gonna adjust my BC and then I can still go back to my full custom drag model. We added the feature to be able to turn aerodynamic jump on or off. To do so, go into Enviro, scroll all the way down till you see aer aero jump toggle to off. Now when you back out, you're gonna see an asterisk showing up next to your wind right there, and that's indicating that you've changed something in the submenu. We also made a change with the range card. Now, when you scroll down and go into range card, if you hit the center button, you have the opportunity to scroll by line, which is how it used to work, or you can scroll by pages. This is a great addition because it allows you to quickly go through four ranges at a time. While I'm in range card, we also added an asterisk in front of lead. This indicates that the lead is active, but not being applied to the windage hold. It's important to always remember that you need to add or subtract your wind from your lead. And finally, another big change that we made is to the target card. Previously, the target card was one group of 10 targets. We've now created multiple sectors, so the users can build up to 30 different sets of targets of 10 targets each. To start building out your sectors, once you go into target card, hit the center button to go in deeper, and you can go into your sectors, you can build each sector. You can rename each sector. As you do a new sector, just give it a new name. Now that you know the new features that are available in Code 1.48, I'm sure you're eager to load it onto your Kestrel. When you log on to Kestrel Link Ballistics and connect your Kestrel, make sure you first save all of your gun profiles to the app. Then go back and update your firmware.